Here is your latest African news. Somalia. Somali president calls for election in a bid to calm tensions. Somalia's president, Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed, called early Wednesday for elections and a return to dialogue after the extension of his mandate by two years sparked the country's worst political violence in years. Kenya. Kenya is posed for the first female Chief Justice. Martha Karambu Kume is poised to become Kenya's first woman Chief Justice after a judicial panel announced her nomination for the role on Tuesday. The Judicial Service Commission submitted Kume's name to the president after it unanimously recommended the appointment. Mali. Climate change greatly threatening fish farming in central Mali. Ecological issues are threatening livelihoods in central Mali. In the inner Niger Delta, overfishing has depleted stocks. The Sahara Desert is also encroaching on the green floodplains, causing a deeply worrying situation for fisher folks. Africa wide. How seriously is Germany taking its colonial history? Genocide, looted art, stolen skulls, calls for Germany to acknowledge its colonial past have grown even louder. Four years ago, the government in Germany promised to re examine the issue, but no real progress has been made in this area. It took more than 100 years for the German government to officially acknowledge the country's colonial actions in Africa. And now the question remains, will they acknowledge their past and make reparations? Nigeria. Nigeria's president wants U.S. military base to move to Africa. Nigeria's president, Muhammadi Buhari, has called on the U.S. to move its AFRICOM military headquarters to the continent from Germany. He made the request during U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's online virtual visit to Africa, a substitute for an in-person visit that didn't happen because of the coronavirus restrictions. South Africa, the woman shaping the future of African space exploration. The fully black woman-owned satellite tech company Astrofica, based in Cape Town, specializes in assembling, manufacturing and testing satellite systems, which is a lucrative focus on the African space industry. According to Space in Africa, 41 satellites had been launched from the continent by August 2020, and that number is likely to triple by 2024. More than $4 billion has been invested in satellite development across Africa so far. Namibia. A lab in a remote Namibian city is saving the cheetah from extinction. In the remote city of Otiwarongo, that in Namibia, scientists are working hard to restore the cheetah population through conservation science. The scientists achieve this by recovering eggs from some of their captive cheetahs and inseminating them with sperm in their lab. Thank you so, so much for watching this. Visit our YouTube channel, Tuna Checky, to watch the full news reports and our website at tunacheki.tv for all of our latest African news updates. You can also directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a patron. And remember, Africa is watching. And remember, you can also leave your suggestions of topics you'd like us to cover in the comments below.